Hey guys, Kelvin here. So I've been thinking what to print in my 3D printer today and after thinking for a while, I thought why not the rubber band gun? So I've been building uh, rubber band guns since I was young using Lego bricks and this has been a fun experience. So I'd like to try it one more time, except this time we are just going to model it in the 3D modeling software and then send it to the printer to print out. So I'll be using Tinkercad today Let's dive into it. So we start off with a soft box. This will give us a nice rounded corner edge for our square, which is our gun nozzle. And I'll create channels on both sides of the nozzle. This will allow a sort of stick to travel in the gun. And this stick will push out the bullet from our gun, which you'll see later. And then I'll create a base at the bottom of the gun. This will separate out the top part of the gun with the bottom part of the gun. The bottom part of the gun will allow the trigger to travel as well as a rubber band at the front of the gun to hold the trigger into place. And then we will create a channel for the trigger to travel as well which is at the bottom part of the gun. And once we are done with that, we are going to create the gun handle. So it will slot to the back of the gun that's why we have to resize it slightly smaller than the gun nozzle itself. And later we will create a locking mechanism for the gun handle. Okay, once we are done with that, we are going to create the trigger. So it's a simple mechanism, basically it's just the top part to lock the trigger into place and the bottom part for the finger to push. And that's it. Last we are going to create the locking mechanism for the gun handle. And now that we are all done, I'm just going to align all the objects for easy 3D printing. So for the gun nozzle part, we will just align it to face top down as well as the trigger. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed the time lapse and now it's time to assemble the gun. So I have inserted all the rubber bands including the ones that is holding the trigger. So as you can see, the trigger is in place. Just uh, pushing it. And this is the stick that I mentioned that will push the bullet out. Well, I guess it works. Well, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you have any questions, please comment below or suggestions for the next video. I've also added the thingy was link below so you can download the models and print it out for yourselves. Hope to see our band gun soon and I'll see you next time.